Right, we got an afternoon off work again. So I'm back down the boat. It's Wednesday and today I'm trying to cut the hole in for the Lumar hatch. I've been online, found out the cutout dimensions for it and hopefully they're the right ones. <laughs> otherwise we'd have a big hole in the boat again. Uh, right, this is what it looks like. I've marked it out already. Uh, sorry for the crouched down and white background. It is so bright in here today, it's like working in an igloo. Right, so these are the dimensions. It's 502 millimetres by 502 millimetres, it's a Lumar 60. Uh, you can just about see it. So I'll mark the centre line of the boat and then just 501 off either side to get the 50, sorry, 251 off the centre line either way. And then I've got to fit that afterwards. The sun is shining, which is good. We're getting all stuff out there, ready to start some work. So we've got our trolley and we're on our way down to the boat. I think today we're going to be doing some more painting. Uh, I think Jason's doing some more work on the deck and going to be trying to clean up some of the aluminium around the windows so they look a bit better. Um, yeah. So I've just hoovered the inside of the hole, get up all the bits that we've sanded down. Um, just going to hoover the floor and then I'm going to have a go at cleaning the windows up. Um, and then continue painting. Reese is busy today, he's going to be cleaning the inside of the cupboard as it's a bit mouldy in there. So we've got Alex sanding down, trying to get through the paint. We've got the hatch on temporarily. Um, wanted to put it back on to make sure it fitted back in before we fire the glass. Jace is on the other side, if you can see him in the distance, he's busy taking up some more deck. Um, yeah, I think we're going to see, have a walk along and see how far we get with the deck rather than replacing the whole lot. I'm going to be using this to give the windows a clean around the aluminium, see if it brings them up a bit. Um, as you can see, I've got quite a lot of residue. Um, but yeah, so we're going to give this a try today and see how they come up. Right, so I've given the windows of the aluminium a clean and the window so we can now see out of it it's not too bad a lot cleaner than what they were so that's a good thing still some marks on them but they've got years and years of grime and dirt so they might need one more going over but they're looking a lot better which is good we can now see out this lovely hatch window swans and the babies in the background there but yeah now i'm going to get on some painting so this is how far we've got or i've got it's so long to do i think it's just all the looks and crannies you've got to get into but yeah it's looking better windows I love because they look nice and clean. I think we're just going to do to the edge where I've done over in that part over there. We're going to leave this bit because 
pretty much all of this, if you can see, the painting is not great. But as I said before, it's all going to be covered in the interior, it's just to freshen it up. You can see we have two extra helpers this weekend. Jason's boys. Alex is busy, still sanding. Don't know if you can see through the windows, it's just full of dust. Oh, he's doing quite a good job. A lot of the paint is off. Grace is busy helping take up parts of the deck. As you can see, Jason's knee deep in it. Uh, <laughs> we seem to be developing more and more holes in the deck. So we go all the way along, across onto the other side of the beaver. I guess we're going all the way along then. Well, I finally finished painting. It's all done. It took so long. I think mainly because there's lots of nooks and crannies. As I say, it's not perfect, but most of this is going to be covered. It's just to freshen it up and make it all clean and smell a bit better, although it smells painy. I'm going to have to do one more coat on the beams because part of them will be showing. So yeah. Morning, it's Sunday and today we are back at the boat. Can't really do much, we're just having to clean around the windows as there was a lot of moss and God knows what else on them. Jason's busy going through some bits in the wheelhouse that he's found. We're looking for a place that we can put our new batteries as at the moment they're down in the um, engine bay, which don't particularly want them down there. So Jason thought he might be able to put them under the seats. Mind you, it's got a false bottom on it. We didn't think we'd be able to, but he's just found a false bottom. To be loved. A uh, yeah, so as you can see, the mess we're making, cleaning up around the windows, getting rid of all the moss and dirt, and yeah, I think that's about all we're doing today. We're going to be measuring up, Jason, what we're measuring up for. Uh, make sure the toilet fits. And Is this the, the compost toilet we're going to order? The Simplu. 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 Uh, and for electrics? Mm, no, we're doing it for, I can't remember. I know, I know, insulation. Insulation. <laughs> insulation. Yes. That's what we're doing it for. Okay, don't need them Yeah, as you can see down there, it's a complete and utter mess. We have taken the radar off. Radar, sorry replaced it with a fan because it's very warm here today it's not a breeze or anything it's very close so yeah that's what we're doing today sorting out more stuff all right so my next job we're still sorting out bits and pieces as you can see we've got some rotten bits of wood this is where the right hand side of the sofa is so we're going to replace all them bits of wood we found lots more engine parts and a wheel. But for now, we're gonna, in a minute, load all this stuff here in the trolley to take up to get rid of. But this, we're not sure if it's the heater pipe or an exhaust pipe, but as you can see, it's got loads of rope on, which is all full of dust and mould. So we're going to attempt to take that off and see what's underneath. 
and replace it with some new rope. Right, what are you up to, Reese? I'm breaking out the wood trims with a crowbar and, um, yeah. Is it hard work? Yeah, it's very hard work when it's not rotting. How many more have you got to do? I've got a couple more to do, to just do the half of it. I'll let you crack on then. Alright, see ya. Bye. So I've started taking up the deck on the port side now. I'm hoping that I don't have to take up too much more. This is all dry. This is has been wet that is dry now. That has been wet that is dry. This is dry. Um, and I think from here down, it's only going to be about two inches down here that has been wet. So I might just have to replace a little bit. Mm -hmm. 